for you, you know, when you look at your season as a whole, sometimes it was in and out of the lineup. I, I know that can be tough on, on a player, but did you feel like when you were in the lineup that, uh, that you gave it your best and that you uh, helped uh, Stockton get some much-needed wins? Yeah, I think absolutely. I think that's the thing about this team. We were a very deep team and uh, a lot of talent in the room and the personalities are great. So every time you put a jersey over your head, you feel responsible for the other guys who play and you do your best every night. So just how she works. For for uh, for you though, you mentioned a lot of personalities. You might be one of the bigger personalities in that dressing room though, and and one of those guys that uh, bigger, no pun intended. But uh, you know, you you're one of those guys that a lot of these guys in the locker room really respect and enjoy being around. When when you know that and you you have that kind of uh, pulled with other people, does it help you as a hockey player as well? Knowing that uh, you know when someone needs to count on Oleg Yvenko to do something on the ice, you're going to be there. Yeah, I think it definitely helps. It's just a certain level of uh, accountability that's uh, is standard in this room. And I think uh, it goes from uh, starts with uh, yourself and you look around and then when you don't have the best day, you look at the guy next to you who is doing their best and you do the same thing. For, for you, uh, you were involved in a lot of the, the community appearances, and in particular that Get in the Game Read program. Uh, those schools there uh, were really needed uh, some, some fun and some help to inspire kids to get reading, and they ended up coming away with 15,000 some odd books uh, read through the season. When you look at your involvement, especially you and Josh uh, going over to the Fremont Lopez School that actually won, uh, is it something that you'll always take with you that you had a real impact uh, on, on the community here? Yeah, that was actually like a big surprise. We, we were going into that program, obviously not knowing anything besides this, we're going to be dealing with kids. And uh, we came in, it was like just so exciting for us as well, just to do the reading scene. The kids get excited and smiling and laughing. We had really good groups there with, uh, with kids, so we sort of got lucky too. But uh, yeah, it was obviously like a memorable experience. And like uh, we've been coming back always with a smile on our face every time we had the opportunity to be there. Were you proud that the class that you guys ended up reading to were the ones that won as well? Yeah, well, I don't know if correlation means causation, but uh, I think they're pretty good without us. But uh, I'm definitely proud and happy that's some bragging rights in front of the other guys. But For for you going forward now, what, what's this offseason going to entail for you? Obviously looking to try and get another American Hockey League opportunity here uh, with, with Stockton. Hopefully, uh, we love having you here, but uh, the business part is going to take place. So so looking forward, what, what is it that you have to do to make sure that you get another opportunity? Well, I'm just at this point that the uh, season is done now. I mean, the uh, best thing to do is take a little rest and then uh, have an unbelievable offseason. Just uh, take care of myself, work as hard as I can, and just take a take control of the things that I control and the rest of it will take care of itself and hopefully I end up in the right place. So, Obviously, you mentioned rest and recuperation. So any fun off-season plans away from the game that you're looking forward to? Well, I'm uh, probably going to try to take my family out on vacation. Haven't had like a whole family thing together in a long, long time because I always had a long pause season, be it with uh, World Championships or the playoffs, so uh, this is an opportunity that I'm probably going to take advantage of and go somewhere warm and enjoy like a week or two of just rest and then get to work.